नमस्कार मैं जी गोविंद जोशी टुडे टॉपिक इज क्वेश्चन दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ जुडिस्ट्रेंस सो क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज एज यू ऑल नो इट इज द ओल्डेस्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ लॉ इज इंपोर्टेंट इज नॉट डिनिशिंग विद द क्लोज ऑफ लेजिस्लेशन एंड प्रोसीजर्स Basically, custom means uniformity. Uniformity of conduct of people underlies circumstances. Hence, Holland says that custom is generally observed, observed course of conduct. And Salmon defined custom as an embodiment of principle of justice which have appealed to the national conscience. Keaton defined custom as a rule of human actions which have been established by continuous process and have the force of law and applied by the court. According to Carter, the simplest definition of custom is that it is uniformity of conduct of all persons under like circumstances. Austin, in his disregard for custom as a source of law, defined them as a rules of conduct which are simply observed by the governed in a non-legal sense. So, basically, there are two types of custom: constitutional and legal custom. So. Here are some requirements of valid custom. That is antiquity. Antiquity uh, here is that is the custom cannot be created in a day. It must be existing from time immemorial. It must be for long and standing. Unlike unlike where custom should be existed from time in, in India, long usage and observation is enough. Thus, twenty year old custom may be recognized. Second continuity, which means. The custom may have been in continuously, and it should not be vague or indefinite. So, its existence must be proved by clear and unambiguous evidence. Reasonableness. Reasonableness means the custom is reasonable if no good legal reason can be assigned against it. Further, it is not that a custom will be admitted if reasonable, but that it will be admitted unless it is unreasonable. certainty if a custom is vague or ambiguous it cannot be considered as a valid source of law and it uh, conflict some statute or legislation consistency difference or inconsistency in custom will amount to different rule of conduct for a given situation peaceful enjoyment enjoy peacefully without any dispute in a law court or otherwise conformity with statute law all custom which are opposed to an existing legislation will be treated as invalid custom not opposed public morality all those custom and practice which are opposed to public morality are illegal so custom must not be inconsistent with public policy or any other custom in some area